a redo for the intro because uh, yesterday it just didn't turn out good. I'm not used to talking to the camera, but anyway, um, just want to tell you guys thank you for tuning in and watching my build. Well, me and Heather's build. Um, that wasn't grammatically correct, but anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, this is what I worked on yesterday, and um, you guys just stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more videos. Okay, hey everybody. So she's gonna mix some of this Mr. Hobby surface or primer. I've already told her the rate or the uh, ratio and how much. So we're gonna do four milliliters of paint, and we're gonna do the same thing of uh, primer. I mean, not primer, um, thinner. We're using the uh, Mr. Color thinner. It's not the leveling, self-leveling thinner. It's just I can't yeah. See it well, you'll just get right okay, over okay. where it was at. Okay. Oh. It's, it's okay. You can get more more than two. It's okay. We'll probably end up needing a little bit more, but I don't want to make too much. So we're going to airbrush the primer, um, not um, rattle Do can I spray or anything, because you get a better finish with this stuff. Should I get uh, just a little bit more? Okay, no. Um, we're probably good on paint. Just stick it back in the paint can and um, let it rest in there. Yeah, and then we'll use um, we we'll use that one to get the anyway. Okay. All right. So do four of that. It oh, okay. Yeah. I couldn't see the number. Oh, well, I didn't get enough. She's doing chemistry here. It's. A, I mean, if you get like a little more, then just do a little less on the other one. So she's going with a gray, um, a, a a gray paint. She wanted a dark. She wanted a dark gray. So if we would have taken the um, white or gray primer it would have made the paint a lot lighter so she, she the picture she showed me it's a nice dark right. you just let down it's a nice dark so i figure if we use a black base and then spray that silver or that um, um pepper gray metallic because it has has a lot of silver in it so it's gonna look good okay all right so now no uh, let me mix you up okay now i'm gonna get a filter hold on So you're just going to take your pipette, uh, the one that's in the paint. Where did it go? This way right here. Yeah, let's oh. don't forget to put the lid on that paint. And we'll take and just draw it out of here. Oh, okay. And, then put and it right in the center of that filter. I filter all my paint now because I've gotten too many blobs in my paint. And I know it's not because it happened of... happened with my white truck, too. My green truck. Yeah. So I filter it all now. Before I was... Oh, let's don't look. let's make sure. Let's see what you got in there. That's good. Okay, so just put this back over here. Wait, it's been mixed. Just so leave it in there. in there. Yeah, and no, just leave that there. And I'll, you don't need to put well, the lid on it. Yeah, put the lid on. Okay. We don't know what we're doing. Anyway, Brian Burwell. I was going to say real fast. Got Fuels Model Car Garage. He mixes his paint and then filters it all. I was filtering and then paint and then mixing. And, and anyway, it's easier that way, Brian. Thanks for showing. Me. All right, so we're going to get the camera situated. Put this in the airbrush. Okay. And she's I'll about to she about to paint her body. Okay, so she's got the uh, body and the uh, she primed her wheels. 
but now she's mixing some leather colored paint. I didn't get it quite to two. Hold on, we need a bottle to put that in. What are we thinking? Hold on. Oh yeah, I do need a bottle. Perfect. She's mixing her seat color. Alright, that's two. We're not going to mix up much. I'm using that Model Masters, um, some of that paint that was on clearance from Hobby Lobby when they went out of quick carrying that. And hopefully what she'll get is over these black seats, if she paints it light enough, she'll get a... I'm uh, wanting a darker leather. Yeah, dark leather and a uh, some shadowing effect through that with that black paint bleeding through a little bit. And I you wanted to mention... For this? Um, stir no, I put my hand over it and stir it. I wanted to mention too, hold this, okay. that, hold this. Oh. We were painting the, uh, this with this, um, battery powered compressor that I got from Mark. So that's what we've been using. So we're going to paint the whole thing with that anyway, but I forgot to even mention that when we started that I was using that. And I think it was really neat. It's got this hose. I had to put the hose on this because when I used the, uh, my cup would hit because I used gravity. I mean, uh, siphon. So I had to use the, the, the hose that comes with it. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so her seats turned out real, real nice. The uh, paint I thought was going to be maybe a little too thin, but then it worked out perfect because it didn't cover. Look at that. I mean, I think it just looks like a. Well, it's not going to focus now. It looks like real leather. I'm impressed. That's the point. And it looks bet. Let me see if I can get some light on it. Looks better than on camera. But it almost has that saddle leather look to it. It looks nice. She also painted the dashboard leather and the steering column. So it's going to look nice. She's going to do some detail painting now on the uh, interior. camera battery died um, short video but she got the seats painted I guess you can see them I don't know yeah. Go ahead. the seats the interior the dashboard the rims well, the rims are just primer they'll be, well they'll yeah be. that's all primed and she wants gloss black on her wheels yeah, and I got the body primed. And the body primed. Mm -hmm. So the seats look real good. Um, the dash is leather. The seats are leather. It's going to look nice. So uh, she did a little detailing on the dash. and Yeah, I painted it with a toothpick, not, but I'm not, I won't do that again. I don't like the, I don't like using the toothpick. I, I'd rather use paintbrush. Yeah, so anyway, I thought I would just try it because those little spots are hard to paint. See, her, Heather's thing is she sees it really close and she doesn't like it, but when you're not that close to it, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, well, if I see a flaw, I want it fixed. Like, I see a scratch on my um, steering wheel, and I don't like that. But I can't even see the steering wheel without my glasses but on. But I can, so I can see good. this little scratch, and it just bothers me, but oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, but it's looking good, and she, like I say, body's black prime, so it's going to make that pepper gray metallic um it's gonna look real nice the metallic ought to show real nice 
So anyway, sorry this is a short video, but again, don't want to have them so long and drawn out. Um, so yeah, till uh, next time we'll put the paint on it. We'll, I'll, she'll. Uh, I'm, I'll put the paint on I'm it. I'm confusing myself. It's been a long day. I get up real early. Didn't He's get tired. Good, didn't get good sleep last He's night. Very um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go over to Blue Ox Model Shop uh, and check out Heather Hanscom's, uh, her, her, uh, build. Build, what, what would it be? It's a buddy build, so her, I don't know what would the word be. You didn't say her build. Her, her build. The same thing, she's building the same kit. So yeah. go up there and check them out. I'll link that in the description of the, the video. And then you go check out Jason and Heather's channel mm -hmm. and see what her progress is so far. But anyway, the only progress she had was opening it up, so she really needs to. She needs to get busy because Heather's, she, she texted me on the way home. She says, are we going to work on my Jeep tonight? She, she likes to get it done, so. Well, I'm sure the other Heather likes to get it done, too. Maybe she has other things going on. She does. All right. Anyway, guys, take care. Uh, don't forget to go to Hobby Nut Models Facebook group. Thank you to all my Patreon members. It's, uh, it's great to have you guys supporting us. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Maybe I'll get more sleep up between now and then. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye.